Hello, good morning. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike, here we are my cooking studio, my apartment, my one bedroom apartment, I'm in the kitchen area. I affectionately call that my cooking studio. It is Sunday, uh, April 21st, 2024. And it is springtime. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, like I said, April 21st, 2024, it is 11.48 a.m. on Sunday, and uh, it's 49 degrees out. There's your spring for it, bar, a nice balmy, yeah, sure, a balmy 49 degrees and cloudy, and it'll, uh, it'll arrive sometime in June. Okay, enough of that. So I'm cooking in my slow cooker today. A shout out to all my subscribers. I lost one along the way somewhere. Uh, I'm down to 332. I don't know what happens. They don't tell you who leaves. Uh, anyways, they're lost. <laughs> shout out to all my subscribers. My new friend. A shout out to Belinda. A shout out to Robin. Shout out to Deborah. Sometimes you guys two gotta come down to the Cape. I mean, it's not that far. It's easy to find. Uh, anyway, so I'm cooking in my slow cooker today. This recipe I, done, I did the last time was in November uh, 2023, November 19th to be exact. And I, I didn't have, I had, I mentioned it in that video. I did a video of it. And uh, I had 278, I should have wrote it down. Because I was watching the video to see what data it was. Uh, and uh, that was five months ago. So the, the recipe is from a book I had. Uh, slow cooking. I've done this recipe like quite a few times. Not just while living here. Uh, it's really good. It's a real comfort food. It's from this book. Uh, slow cooking. It's written by those two girls on the cover. I'm not going to mention them again. I mean, I don't think they write books together anymore, but who knows? I don't know where they are. They have a YouTube channel that still has content on it, but this this recipe, I think, is a vi they have a video of it. It's a, a chili vegetable sausage casserole, and it's really easy. It's like six ingredients, and I, like I said, I've done it before. And uh, the picture looks nice. I mean, it, it's just, it is a, a very, uh, very comforting comfort food. So enough of me, come down off of me. The first step I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna brown the, I have some smoked sausage. You can use kielbasa, smoked kielbasa, turkey kielbasa, whatever. This is a Hillshire farm. It's a mix of pork, turkey, and beef. I think chicken, too. I'm not sure. But anyway, it was on sale. You know, it was just that long rope. I cut it on the bias. Now, as I've said before, you can eat this just like it is. It's cooked. Just for the virtue of being smoked. It's delicious. It's better cooked. It's better heated and browned. So one of the first steps I'm going to do is I have my... Like I said, come down off of me now. Back up the tripod so you can see the... I have my electric skillet. I'm going to turn it on up to about three... Right there. I have some spray in it, avocado spray. No, there's no propellant in it. I like, I like using avocado spray because it has a high heat uh, threshold. So I'm gonna heat that up. So I'm gonna brown the, I'm gonna brown the, uh, it is in the direction to brown this. I gotta cut on a, like a bias. The other ingredient is, uh, Back of the mixed vegetables, there's a 10 ounce, there's a 12 ounce. What's two ounces between friends, right? 
three or four large potatoes that I already have done up. I have a mixture of red and uh, some russet. I've washed them. The red I kept the skin on, so I got to dice them up. As I said, the sausage was some browning now. Then, all going to go in a cream of celery soup and cheddar cheese soup. And then if that wasn't enough, um, a cup of shredded cheddar, which I just, I just shredded myself in here from a block, much better that way. I'm going to brown this up to the uh, sausage. Now, like I said, you can use kielbasa. Heck, you could use ling. Uh, what's the spicy one? And do we? I guess you wanted to go spicy with it. I'd like to double this sometimes. Just get a couple of sausage, you know, just get a couple of these sausage ropes and, you know, put more t potatoes in, some more veggies, cheese. I mean, you could do a, you could you could increase the quantity, but you gotta you gotta keep in mind that you're a slow cooker. Most people have a five or five or six quart slow cooker. You don't want to overfill it where the lid doesn't fit on, then you're gonna reheat. You know. Gonna brown these up nicely and add them to the slow cooker. Won't take that long. It tastes pretty good at this point. Mm. Delicious. As always, I'll post the recipe below in the description area, along with the links to their video. And I'll put my video from November to the link to that, if you want to watch that again. Now, I remember back when I did it in November, you didn't see the video. I forgot to put the, uh, on camera when I was doing the initial recording, I forgot to put the veggies in. I did it off camera, so it was in at the end when I showed you the, the reveal, so just a little, just a little uh, backstage secret, nobody ever, uh, I think I mentioned it in the second half of that video, I'm not sure. I have a liner in my crock pot, it's a Reynolds liner. Thank you, Robin, for suggesting that. I've seen them. I ran out for a couple of weeks. The last, when I laid my last recipe in the slow cooker. Uh, okay, I'm going to shut this skillet off. That's really good. That's really good. I'm going to transfer uh, sausage to the slow cooker.
Come on. Come up off the skillet now so you can see what I'm doing. Fly over. Fly over the skillet. Set up, uh, there we go. No bloopers. Nothing edited. The way they roll. The potatoes. Like I said, it's a mix of red and nice color. Funny. The veggies, mixed veggies, carrots, green beans, corn, peas. I probably could have used my just green beans, green beans. And, I think I might have had a bag open. This is a cost for ten ounces. I'm using the twelve ounces. I'm going to try to save two ounces of mixed vegetables. Now the uh, the cheddar cheese has a pull tab opener. You know, my little, my little friend. I don't have anything to pour into this to get the rest of it. This will all melt down over the time. And it's to cook on slow for uh, five to six hours. I'm going to start it on high like I always do. Now I gotta look at the recipe to make sure that's what it says. Yes, cook on low for six hours. I'm gonna start it on high for about an hour or so to get it going. As much as I can get out of there. Cream of celery soup. Now, do you not like if you don't like cream of celery? Uh, I suggest cream of broccoli, maybe. Cream of broccoli, cream of asparagus. And cream of mushroom. My, my alternative would have been cream of asparagus. I'm sticking with that. I couldn't find a reduced sodium, and I couldn't find a store brand. Just this Campbell's. Just this Campbell's. This is a... Uh, This is a reduced fat. This is just straight, oh, straight heart attack land. I'm just kidding. Cream of celery. Now, what I hear, it's soup. It's listed as, well, is it? No, it's not even listed as soup. It's a um, condensed cream of celery. Now, I ever sat down in a bowl of celery soup? No. I don't know what it tastes like, really. 
I should have, because I made this. Let me say that. Stop, Michael, your head. Okay. That is it. No seasonings, nothing. Put the lid on. We'll select. I got selections. I said I'm going to start high. One hour. Six hours. Well, six hours at the hour mark, I'll turn it down to low. And we're up. As so I'm going to say, here it comes. We're off like a thunderous herd of turtles. Yes, we're off like a thunderous herd of turtles. Mr. Goodlooking says he'll be here maybe next week. So he let me use his shirt. So thank you, Mr. Goodlooking. We'll be cooking maybe during the week. So there you have it. Um, thank you for joining me Sunday afternoon. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. Please subscribe if you haven't. And, uh, I love you all. Oh, go Celtics. Tonight, they start their playoff quest uh, for the championship. I think they got it this year. Start Miami at home at the Garden. Bruins won last yesterday, too, or last night. 5-1, to one, they beat Toronto for their quest for the Stanley Cup. So, and I don't know what's going on with the Red Sox here, but they are one pathetic team. I think pathetic because they should just make all their games road games. I don't know because they can't win at home. But they're beating Pittsburgh one, the other night. It was like 9-1. to one. I can't figure them out. They're, they're on the road. They win. They come home. The home opener. That was embarrassing. The home opener at Fenway. And they lose. They lose just about every game at home. They don't make any sense. They never have. Anyway, that's enough for me. So, see you soon. Bye. Twelve seconds later. Hello. Welcome back for a second. I forgot to add the shredded cheddar cheese today. Yeah. It's about, about a minute, a little more than a cup. Not sure. You can have never have enough cheese. So spread that out. Okay. Let the thunder, let the thunderous turtles back in. Thunderous herd of turtles back in. Let them in. Okay. Watch out. They're dangerous. Bye. See you soon. Sorry about that. A little glitch in the matrix. One eternity later. Hello, welcome back to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Uh, here we are in my cooking studio. I was started in the crock pot earlier. A uh, a recipe from my um, slow cooking companion book, cheddar vegetable sausage casserole. It's still Sunday. Uh, nice day, 46 degrees. 6:57 p.m. now, p.m. Eastern time here in Falmouth, Mass on Cape Cod, and uh, so we're all done here, we'll be going for about, oh, about maybe a little longer than six hours, it's in the keep warm mode, the slow cooker, it was on low, I started it on high, kicked down the low, and uh, sorry about earlier, about the, uh, forgot the one ingredient, just like back in November, when I forgot an ingredient, and uh, it's weird, it was a Sunday then too. I only had 278 subscribers back there, too. I'm up to 333. Thank you. So let's come down off of me. Come down here. I'm going to serve some out here. I'm not going to eat a whole pool off here. 
It smells good. And it uh, tastes good. I'm going to give it a, a little whirl here. Oh, here's my fork right there. Potatoes are done just right. Cheese all melted in. Now you could add some more cheese if you wanted to. I'm gonna some, I might put some more cheese in and let it melt in. Black pepper. All the cheese. Does it need any salt? The salt in the probably well, of course, in the uh, smoked sausage. And of course in the soups, like the cheddar soup, and the cheese itself. So there's plenty of salt in this content. Don't need any added salt. Like I said, it's a very good comfort food, and it's delicious um, with the potatoes. Ah, oh, delicious. The cheese, cheese, very cheesy. It's uh, kind of like the guy making it. Who said that? So there you have it. Um, cheddar, ve cheddar vegetable sausage casserole in the slow cooker. My, probably my... One of my favorite forms of cooking is in the uh, crock pots. I know there's probably people that have three or four crock pots. You know, uh, I know a guy on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll give him a shout out, Rick Mamata. He's like the gadget guru of YouTube. I remember when I first started watching him, he only had like one or two pressure cookers, a Cuisinart, which he still uses. Now he's got like 10. I mean, uh, so many different kitchen appliances he's got, you know? Instant pots, he's got, uh, he's got like a big 12, a 14 quart pressure cooker. I mean, I see him use it much. Check out his channel, Rick Mamata. His girlfriend, Kathy, has a channel, too. Kathy Artisan, a shout-out to her, too. Uh, so, anyways, shout-out to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Shout-out to Robin, again. Give you a shout-out. And, uh, and Belinda, I hope you watch this today. And uh, shout-out to you. Honey, and, uh, and, uh, I well, can't, can't mention you all. Thank you. A, a shout out to my cousin, Mark, in, uh, Virginia. I missed your live show today to join you. So, I must got the message late, the notification. So, anyway, so you look great. I love the tree work you did yesterday. So, anyways, I hope you like this. Come back for more, maybe during the week. I'm not sure. I might do another video during the week. I'm not sure what I'm going to make. Maybe something with the Vitamix. I haven't done anything with the Vitamix in a while. So uh, enjoy that. And uh, I'm going to get another bite. You're on camera.
Oh, it's so good. Ugh. So, have a good night. Have a good Sunday night. The uh, Celtics won today. A blowout. So, they're up one game to nothing in their series. Bruins tomorrow night. So, have a great night. I love you all. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.